uh, which is really awesome. Before it was until 10 o'clock. So um, making progress on the COVID front, which is really nice. Okay, let's see if somebody is joining us on Facebook. So why would Rafaela now be on Facebook? Well, don't know. It should be the view of the speaker and I should have my pin on. That's okay. Oh, beautiful. Okay, non-verbal communication. We're going to dive into the three different types that we talked about last time or rather the sword, the shield, and the crown. And for those of you that weren't there the other time, I'm just gonna do a really quick recap. If you have any questions, start it in the chat box or on Facebook, in the comments, and I'll try to answer. So three behavioral types, and this is only, this is one of the things that we would like to know about a client. We want to know in the beginning if our client is up or down. We want to know all the verbal uh, signs of satisfaction and rejection, all the iconic sign, these little things, this, this, this. We want to know the three behavioral types that I just mentioned now. We want to know the problem, which is conscience, dream, and freedom. And we want to know their metaphysical uh, attraction, which is realist or idealist. So today is going to be about the three types. Rafaela, I know, I know, I know I put too much stuff in there. I will, I promise I'll, I'll slow down and I will simplify and we will have fun. I have like a thousand objects here. It does not look like a Comeri consultant <laughs> table right now. So first type, the sword or rather the paternal. This is a gesture. The second type, crown or ego. Gesture. The third, the shield, maternal. And this is the gesture. Paternal behavior, sword behavior can tend to be just mental, commanding, and he or she can criticize. These are all four examples of like a real strong sword gesture. This is it. I am the winner. I am strong. And, and they tend to be also strong in their body. It's those people that tell you that when you go on stage, you want to stand straight and you want to be like this, but they do forget that if you have sort people in front of you, they don't, they don't connect to that. They don't get hooked to that. They want people that are a little more soft, a little more calm like that. So you actually, you have to try to incorporate both of these types. If you have an audience in front of you that you don't know the type. The crown. They need to train their listening skills because they tend to be focused on themselves. They talk about themselves and they provide advice. They refer a lot to themselves and they tend not to get involved. And this is the crown's ego favorite gesture. Hello, Linda. Thank you for joining. That's lovely. Last one, shield, maternal behavior. They need to train their speaking skills, they take care of people, they participate a lot, they sacrifice, and sometimes they can tend to be suffocating. And this is the favorite gesture of the shield. They want everybody to get along and they want everybody to be happy and have a good time. They are basically team players, whereas the swords are more mm, ego-minded, career-oriented. And these are the three. One, two, and three. And to figure out your own type, we do the, the TAP test with, the, with our body. And Linda, would you, would you mind doing the test? You sure? Okay, hold on. I will put on the gallery view like this. Do you want to stand? 
Yeah, you can turn around like that if you want. I will pin your video. And this should, this should do it. Okay, so just leave your arms down your thighs. And you've already tried this. Let me just close your eyes and think about a triangle that, or a pyramid that is pointed towards the ground and feel if you move forward or backwards. Okay. And it's really, really nice and neat. Okay, thank you. Come back to the center and think about an, um, an obelisk, something really long or pole, light pole, a tree, super. Okay, so if I present myself as most of the, uh, I, I don't mind that they say that, but I just know that is not right. Because if I present myself to Linda as someone that's really like this, Linda is not going to connect to me well. Whereas if I present myself a little more soft, like a triangle, she will. Uh, last thing, Linda, the, the circle. And you just close your eyes and try to visualize a sun. Or something really around, a moon. Okay. And you do move a little forward on that, right? Which one do you feel do you feel more, Linda? The triangle or the, um, the first circle? one? The first one I felt more. Okay. So if you move back on the circle, it means that you're very not self-centered, but you can tend to be. Whereas if you move a little forward or you stand still, that is not your type. So reminding that if the one that you move forward on, hold on, I'm gonna mute you, Linda, because that's a little, the one that you move forward on is the one that you are not. So if I move forward, if Linda moves forward on the triangle, she is not that, she is the sword type and vice versa. Does it make sense, Linda? I can see you're thinking. <laughs> Hold on, I'll ask you to unmute. I'm, I still can't hear you. <laughs> it's like two years with Zoom and it's still like, can, can we just have like a vocal on mute Zoom and it will unmute and then mute Zoom. That is actually a great idea. Um, I'll ask you to unmute. Okay, hold on, maybe I can unmute you. Are you not able to unmute, Linda? No, it's okay. No problem. So when you're at home, you want to stand straight. You either put an object in front of you, that is triangle, and feel your body says yes, it moves forward. Your body says no, it moves backward. And you can put an object or you just close your eyes if you tend to be good at uh, visualizing. Yeah, Linda, it's, 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 it's all the time like that. <laughs> Don't worry. When we're talking about the festival, the Tiding Festival, if you're talking to a sword, and from now on, we're going to call them ego female. And next time, I'll explain everything in detail, but I want to do some fun stuff today. If we have a sword person in front of us, and we talk about the Tiding Festival, one reaction might be like, Tiding Festival, a method, really? five categories, like how hard can it be, right? Bring it on. And when you go to their homes, they want you to be careful with their stuff and they want to get something done. The ego instinctively, like tidying sessions, how does it work? How long does it take? Uh, did anybody famous do it? Can we take selfies while we tidy for my Instagram? And they might suggest you that one of their friends could need it better than they need it. Whereas the shield, will you teach me how to do it well? We'll do it together, right? Because they, they prefer teamwork. I cannot do it on my own. And when you come into their homes, they want to take care of you. So they tell you maybe to be careful and uh, don't hurt yourself or strain yourself. 
We talked a little about paternal sword handshakes, touches, and hugs. They're like the strong people. They will pat you on the shoulder like that. They will say hello like this, uh, and they will be firm and straight in their bodies. The ego, they will tend to pinch your hand like this, like literally make a circle around your hand. Uh, they will pinch you on the shoulder. Oh, so how are you doing? And they do like this. Or as a maternal handshake, they, they cover. This is like a famous political thing that if you, if you shake hands like that and the one that is on top is the dominant, it's just, it's, um, I don't know where they got that from. That's not, that's not our opinion. So try to figure out who you have in front of you and try to adjust your handshake. Because if you have a sword and you're a sword, you want to adjust it to communicate and to connect to that person. All right. If you have any questions on Facebook, please put them in the um, in the chat, and I will take a look at them. All right. Communication. So last time, I promised you we're gonna look into how we can communicate with the three different styles. So the paternal. This is if I have, so I have an ego male. We're going to call the shield from now on ego male. It doesn't have to be a, a male or a female. It's just the term that we're going to use. So the person that is a shield, we're going to call them ego male. Paternal, verbal, long, strong, high, hard, top, erect, firm. I'm going to lick my lips. I'm sorry. Sword, stick, pole penetrate, go through everything that describes a sword or the male genitals. And nonverbal, you have a hard touch and you use long objects. Um, Rafaela, would you mind standing up just a second? We're gonna have a little fun. Yeah, just roll over like that. Um, so just close your eyes, Rafaela, and uh, attach to your body. And I will be like um, long, strong, erect, obelisk, light pale. Okay, super. Um, so Rafaela would be an ego male. And they like soft songs, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on a ring. And I hope you can hear it, Rafaela. Let me know if you can hear it. So let's say I'm in my office and I have a ring on and I have a client coming in. And I can do something like that. It sounds really weird, but people, they actually do it all the time. Stuff with stuff like that. They will hammer. So Rafaela, just connect to your needs and I'll do this. Can you hear it? Not really. Okay. But it's a hot sound, right? Yeah. yeah. Your body can hear it for sure. So this is the hard sound. Ego males are attracted to hard sound. I will make a soft sound. Oh, that doesn't work with Rafaela. So I want to talk a little more like that, a little more up tempo, a little more high pitch like that. Yes, Rafaela, you can make it to the top. It's going to be fine. It's going to be a long, long, long run, but it's going to be really fine. Mm. Thank you. Interesting. Thank you, Rafaela. You can sit down. <laughs> so what works with Rafaela is opposite of what would work with me. Hmm? Do you want to try it, Rafaela, just for fun sake, just tell me anything and I'll try not to react, but you know that I cannot not react and you know that I'm attracted to the triangle. Okay. So if you want, talk to me about the tidying festival or the method, uh, if you want, as a... As, you can think about it 30 seconds and be like, okay, so look, it's attracted to the triangle. So anything that has to do, hold on, I'll pull up the advanced portion of screen. So this is Luga. She's attracted to every, if you talk to me in a soft, warm, you talk to me about water, ball, open, wide, expand, soft touches, triangular objects that will, Hook me. That is what I connect to. If if you do something that I did with the Rafaela, that's not gonna work on me. 
uh, observe like your best girlfriend or your friend and see if you're actually, if it's true that you're different types. And if you're like three best friends and there's always a little, you know, a little uh, of discussion or, you know, you know how girls can be. There's probably two ego males and one ego female or two ego females and one male. And something is always going to, there's always going to be a little like this. Okay, I'm ready. So how are you doing, Rike? Uh, today we're going to start the Tiding Festival. I'm sure that you are going to have lots of fun, but we're going to do it very slowly, uh, gently, little by little. I will keep your hands and uh, I start laughing. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, but it's just wonderful. So see, I cannot not do it. Like I'm, I'm literally, oh, my body is like, mm. and, and try to do the opposite that Rafaela, because so if you look at Rafaela, she's soft in her body and she's very, it just, you know, she, she does that motherly thing that she will protect me. So I trust her and I open up, try to be, it's because, and it's, it's really difficult to be the opposite of what you are. It's not that easy. If you're an ego male, so you are the shield, try to make like a really strong uh, sword. People that are shields, they do it kind of like, try to do it, Rafaela. So let's do yeah. this, Lique. Uh, we're and going to... Do you see, Rafaela, like your hand is like this. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> half a triangle, half a... Because for a triangle, this is really difficult because it does it feel right, Rafaela, when you do it? No, I oh. feel so impolite. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's do this, Lique. Uh, we're going to um, tidy your home. Uh, first are the clothing, then the books, then the paper. Uh, and we have to work, we have to do it because otherwise we, we cannot skip it. We, we have to do each category one after the other, right? Yeah, I, okay. Okay, let's yeah. do this. So, so all the little signs of rejections that are literally, I, I mean, I'm not, I, I have to like uh, scratch myself here right now because it just doesn't work with me. So if you have clients where you feel there's something with the communication, just try to do the opposite. Linda, was it you that you, you tried to do the opposite with a client and you had a good result? I, I didn't do it deliberately. <laughs> I don't know why I just um I just lifted my arm to I don't know why I did it I think we were in the kitchen and, and the ceiling was really low and I sort of I don't know I think I was almost keeping the roof off my head and um and I moved my arm and she she went backwards um but it was funny because she then became very submissive <laughs> so I'm not You'll have to explain it to me because I'm not quite sure what that makes her, if you know what I mean. So if, if she listens to this, if she, if she like listens to this, she is a shield. So she's attracted to the sword. It's, we're always attracted to the opposite. And um, it's, it's, um, it's really, okay, let's go into this because it's, now it's going to get fun. Because, you know, you can't, you can't ask your client like, okay, do you want to stand up and do a test, right? You cannot do that. Let's just take the last one, the ego. So all, everything that's got to do with round, moon, sun, egg, circular, roundabout, crown, hole, ball, round objects, and circular touch. So one thing that you have to be aware of is that if your mother tongue has gender nouns, you want to use that. Um, like in, in, in Italian, The masculine noun is for the paternal, the sword. You don't want to use them with the sword. They will use those nouns. The female noun, maternal, shield, and the neuter noun, ego. Um, you know, they have this in German, for example, where you can use it, whereas in Italian, we have, we have female or male. You have it in English too, but it's not, it, it doesn't work the same way because so like in Italian, it will be the paternal automobile, It is female now, but it used to be masculine gender. Whereas if you talk to, so if you talk to um, Rafaela and you talk about a car, you want to say automobile. And if you talk to me, 
you want to say machina, which is a female for car. And if you speak to someone that is ego, you want to use auto vehicle. I know this get complicated, but it's fun. Just have fun with it and be like, let's see if I can even, you know, manage to think about what, I, what they are and figure it out. So opposites attract. It's always like that. How do I figure out if my client is attracted to the sword, the shield or the crown? We have to be a little bit Sherlock Holmes. Where does it start? Uh, back in the days before COVID, it could start in your office, right? So what do I want in my office? Everything, like everything. I want long rectangular objects. I want triangular objects and I want round objects. Example, pens, rulers, candles, glasses, plants, pyramids, lamps, statues, blah, 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 plants twice, uh, spheres, art, uh, the table, like the literal table where you're sitting can be different. P, everything that you can use to figure out what type your client is. So, Rafi, let's get on with it. Would you mind standing up and just uh, look at me and we'll see, I hope we can see how you move. So let's say your client comes into the office and you don't know, right? There's no, like, so there's a little, uh, so ego females, they tend to care more about what they look like. They will have makeup on. Uh, so like for me, if I go onto a Zoom call and my hair is not, is, is like this, that doesn't work for an ego female. It's going to be like this. Whereas the ego male, yeah, well, if I have makeup on or not makeup on, it doesn't really make a difference. It's not that important. So let's say... Uh, it's super true. I, I mean my pyjama. Yeah, so, so see, like for me, so, Rafaela, I would never go online in pyjama. She just doesn't care. No. There's nothing no. wrong with either one. It's just like I wouldn't feel comfortable. Like Rafaela, when she sits like this, she feels unpolite. And I'm like... I'm in my right to, you know, if people, they don't do what they're supposed to do, what they should do, you know, I'll, why, why shouldn't I? So, uh, so I'm talking to Rafaela and um, I ask her questions. So have you ever heard about the Come Mary method? A little bit, but maybe you can explain me something. So if I do this, she's going to move forward if she's attracted to the sword. Can you feel it, Rafi? Yes, I'm moving forward. Yeah. Of course, as always, uh, as we we ask a backup question, I want to do it again. So a little, don't don't be like you know, do everything at once, but just do it a little later, and you can do something like this. Uh, but you know what? We don't have a lot of time, and to reach the top, we got to do it, you know, in a certain way. Okay. Yeah. Forward. Get yeah, forward. So, and I sit straight and I try to be the short. I try, I am. So now here's the big, big test. So Rafaela, you're gonna fake yourself a triangle. No, let's do Linda. Linda, let, Rafaela, do you wanna try with Linda? That way uh, you get to practice. So Linda, we said that she, she's attracted to triangle, right? Yes. yes, so you just have to be you. Would that be okay, Linda? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, am I unmuted, yeah. Okay. No, yeah, you're unmuted. Okay. So if you can stand up, Linda. Yeah. Hi, Linda. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Oh, that's lovely. Um, so I'm here today with you to um, go through your uh, belongings. We are going to, uh, to do the first category together. Uh, do you have any question about the KonMari method, about what I explained to you last time? No, no, everything's fine. Thank you. Oh, that's uh, fine. Linda, do you mind uh, watching the, um, facing the camera? Because we can see it anyway. Yeah, like that. Cool. So um, we're going to work. Uh, um, <laughs> wait, we are going to work together. Uh, mm -hmm. We are going to do the, um, <laughs> the first category, uh, that is the clothing. Um, we will start with the tops because I don't know, I don't remember if I explained you um, the other time, but actually the tops are closer to our heart. They kind of cuddle us. Uh, 
Uh, uh, it's a way for us to feel warm, soft, they keep us warm. And so it's pretty easy for us to understand which one really sparks joy, really means something to, to our heart and That's really amazing. wants to be in our life. Rafael, Linda, what did you feel? <laughs> I'm grinning. I feel really happy. <laughs> 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 okay, Rafaela, so here comes a big test. So you try now, Rafaela, to be the sword, okay? Me or Linda? Yeah, Rafaela. Because so the difficult thing is when okay. when you, Rafaela, when you have to go into someone that is as that is an ego male like you. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And Linda, you just move back or you just move naturally, whatever your body tells you. Yeah. Okay, Linda. Uh, let's do this. Today is the first. It's day one of um, of the con uh, of the tiding festival. Sorry. Uh, so the first category is the clothing. We'll do the tops, the pants, the um, uh, sweaters, and everything that comes after. I will guide you, but we have really to start and move forward. Um, are you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. You. So what did you feel in the inner body when, when and you... I, I was moving backwards. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, both of you. You're amazing. So fast. All right. So what else? What can we, what can we use? I'll just take away the pins, remove pin. Zoom, right? So today, probably not a lot of, of us, um, see our clients in the office. I think most of us probably meet our clients on Zoom for the first time. So what do you want on your Zoom background? You want all three, but you want to remember that 57% of all people are attracted to the sword, more or less. It's like if you have 100 people, the majority is going to be attracted to the sword. Uh, 38% are going to be attracted to the shield. And a very tiny percent, 5%, are going to be attracted to the circle. There's not a lot of them. We call them unicorns. So in your background, you want to have something straight and you want to have something um, triangular. This is not going to be like a, a publicity for Pupa, but they have like amazing things like this. They make tiny little objects. One is actually a crown. Anything that you like that you can have that you can put when you meet your client for the first time. perfumes. So let's say, let's say I do this. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I, I forgot to put my perfume on. The ego female is going to be like, you know what, you, I, I'm your client, what are you doing? You should have taken care of that before. I, and Rafaela is like, yeah, okay. She, she doesn't really mind. It's like, maybe, how do you feel? Rafael? it's a little weird, but it's not, you know, you're not judging. Yeah, it's weird, but I mean, if you're okay, I'm okay. <laughs> It can happen to anybody, right? Okay. Accessories. There's like no limit to accessories. If you have, if you, if you have like, so the, um, the ones that are attracted to the circle, um, they're normally calm people. We'll talk about it next time, but you can use anything that is jewelry like this and you play with it. You have it on like this and you play with it and you see if they move forward or not. So you can have something circular. You can have something that is as uh, like this and you just play with it. Men they, men, they wear ties, but women, they can wear ties too because if you have a tie and, and you, you do it like this, if you touch it like this, it's gonna be the shield. Whereas if you do something like this, It's the sword. If you if you think about like Eddie, Eddie um, no Freddie Mercury, he was a genius, right? He he his microphone and the standard for the microphone, he like literally he threw that around on stage, right? And if people, if there's 57% that are attracted to the sword, that's that's a good thing to do. It's besides his super great voice and and personality, he knew how to get his stage performance down. Any kind of object that you have that you can use, hard sounds and soft sounds. 
and like that's your jewelry tie hats jackets scarves okay you always want a scarf or a jacket something that you can open and you can close why do we want that okay rafa can i ask you to stand up another time so if i have a scarf one people will either be attracted to opening up or closing in I'm going to pin you too. Okay. So just hands down your sides, Rafaela. And I'm going to try to do this. And you move backwards, right? Yes, I go backwards. And I'm going to close in. Forward. Mm -hmm. So I know that she's... She's attracted to the tour, right? So I'm going to do it a little more like this and close in when I ask her if she wants to buy the tidy festival. <laughs> it's great. It's great. So, and then here is the point where people are like, yeah, look, that's a little manipulative. And isn't it, you know, uh, and our trainer in Milan, he's like, who wears, um, who wears lipstick sometimes? Or do you dye your hair? Or do you, you know, do you just pull in your stomach when someone passes you by? Isn't that being manipulative? And it is, you know, that we wear lipstick because the animals, when they are in heat, their, their lips, they, um, they tend to swallow up and they get more red. Like the female lips, they will do that. And putting on lipstick is actually trying to, to, um, to copy that, what the animals do. Glasses. Isn't glasses a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing to figure out what type your client is? Let's see. So these are not really rectangular and I can't like see a thing. These are my neighbors. Oh my goodness. The whole, the whole just spins around. Okay. So if they have rectangular glasses, like these, what do you think they are? Linda, first I guess. I, I don't know, eager. <laughs> okay. okay, so they wear something that is long and rectangular. So they are attracted to the sword. Like I would never wear glasses like that, ever. Yeah, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm, I've, I've not quite grasped this paternal maternal and the fact that you are one, but you're attracted to the other. I'm, I'm getting confused. It's like a double whammy, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know, because like people, they get, they get divorced three times in their lives because of that, because they don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like we tend to yeah we tend to I tend to you know always end up with the same person oh really because sometimes um uh you know we say that when we go out on a date like we send our best representative right like our best version of ourselves and then slowly that kind of changes so this fellow here is probably the shield and so if you are the shield you're either attracted to the sword or the circle. Okay. So if he wears something that is rectangular and long, this is, that is the direction you want to go. Someone that is attracted to the circle might wear glasses like this. So if you see a person that wears glasses like this, you want to go with that. You like, if you're in your office or you're on Zoom, you want to play with your round things. So you take your little round thing up and you play with that and you use round language. So it's like, um, imagine that the Kamari method is like you're inside a circle, a protective circle that is totally safe. And it's, um, it's like a sphere of goodness. All the, the words that you can get in there with... Uh, with the with the circle there's not there's not a lot of people that will ask for our services so 
because they want to figure it out for themselves or they want to just have somebody do it. So they might call a PO or they might ask if you just can't, if you can do it. Did you ever have like clients that just can't you just do it? Do I, do I have to, you know, choose, can't you just do it? I know consultants that, that do, and those are the people that are probably ego. The ones that are attracted to the, to the triangle, they will have glasses like this. You know, something that looks like this, like this, definitely ego female. Would you wear these, Rafaela? You wouldn't. No, they are too much for me. Yeah, they're, they're too much. This is the ego female, right? So it's, and Rafaela is like, come on, you're ridiculous. <laughs> but now that you're saying, like, for example, I use a ribbon as sunglasses since always, which is typically like an, a typical male shape. And like even the perfume, I cannot stand like um, flowery scents. I, I always buy male perfumes. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really amazing. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. So if, if, if like you can ask about that, you know, you can ask about instruments. If, uh, if you have a musician, someone that plays the harp or they like that kind of music, they're attracted to the triangle for sure, or the guitar. It's like, you know, it's like a, a container. Everything, every instrument, musical instrument that tends to be a container, you, they, you will have the sort of person that is attracted to the triangle. Someone, I would never, like, I would never, ever play an instrument like this, ever. What do you feel? How do you feel about it, Rafaela? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm, I, I've never been attracted to the guitar, for example. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that just says it all. And this, the only round instrument is like a uh, horn. Of course, this is taking it a little. These are the bipolars that you don't know what they are. So you really have to figure it out. <laughs> Questions to find your client's type. I just had these glasses arrive. Would you help me? So Rafael is like, yeah, that's okay. You know, the ego male will help you. It's like, it's a little weird, maybe, but they will help you. And the ego female, they will frown or they will be like, yes. Or, you know, like Linda, maybe she did like this. And I was like, what is going on here? So if they judge you on this question, you already know that it's probably an ego female. And I don't want to be me. I don't want to be Lugia. I want to soften up if I want to help that person. If, if I want to connect, because if I do me, the sword, it's not going to work and I'm not going to get her as a client. Another question. I just saw this or that movie. I mean, that's a total normal topic like uh, Netflix. And did you watch uh, Marie's uh, Netflix series or what series are you watching? Who's your favorite uh, preferred actor? And if it's Brad Pitt, what would you say Brad Pitt is? Ego male or ego female? Like, does he care about his appearances? Does, is he... Yeah, yeah, Rafael was like, or we can take, let's take uh, Russell Crowe. And the ones that tend to be, uh, you know, like they have a strong body, they're bodybuilders, they're actually the more soft ones. You can also sometimes look at people's dogs if you have the chance to figure it out. Uh, the people that have like uh, pit bulls and strong dogs, they're actually softer inside. The, let's call them the nicer people, even though I'm, I mean, I can say because I'm the ego female, whereas the ego female, they will have the Labrador. Uh, I don't I don't know the, the dog names in English, like a Coco Spania. I'm just going to say them in Danish. You know, the, the nice little dogs that are like soft and cute. Because opposites track. So if I'm a soft person inside, I have a good heart. I'm a team player. I have the pit bull because it kind of needs to be, uh, you know, represent the other part that I would want to be. The dog represents what I'm attracted to. And if I'm uh, the ego female, I want a dog that's really nice and has a good heart because that's what I would, that's what I'm attracted to. I just read this, that book, who's your favorite author? And the concert, I went to a cool concert yesterday. Who's your top musician? What is your preferred instrument? Mm, a typical 
of course you would always have to do the tests and you can't like say it without having done the tests, but you have a good idea. Like Andrea Bocelli would be like a super ego male. Ego female, uh, Celine Dion, Ariana Grande, Beyonce. So the thing is that if you have an, an ego male, like singer, they're not gonna make that much career because they don't care. Like if they sing, they want to make people happy. They don't want to make money or, you know, a gold platinum album or whatever. They're not really interested in that. Linda, do you have questions? I I see your your little. No, no, it's it's fine. Just keep going. I just. I'll... just keep going. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, so we're gonna try with Rafaela to see if we can figure out, I'm just gonna see if there's any questions on Facebook, if we can figure out of Kimono. And if you if you, if you wanna practice, Linda, you can totally do that with uh, Rafaela. So she has a secret Kimono category hidden away, we cannot see. And observing the signs that you know a type, but she's not really feeling like doing Kimono today, right, Rafa? You're like, mm, maybe yes, maybe no. So you know he's attracted to the sword. You know that if you close in, she's going to move forward. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You want to figure out, you want to have her do it. She doesn't want to do it today. And, uh, and you want to figure out which category she wants to start with. Okay. Give it a go. <laughs> okay. Rafaela, good to see you. Hi, Linda. Hi, Rafaela. Um, okay, are you ready for today? Uh, not really. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, come on. It's so hot here. I, I'm tired. I'm thirsty. Yeah. Do well, go get, have, do you go want get me a to drink start? and we'll get started. Okay, I, I prepare a cake for you. Do you want to taste a little bit of cake, something? Uh, I'd love a piece of cake, but let's get a first subcategory done yeah and then we can have the cake yeah okay yes. you are the boss okay <laughs> okay so um which subcategory are we going to start with uh we we discussed it last week um and um i was thinking maybe we'll start with um cds might be an easy one i haven't got too many of those uh cds really <laughs> I don't have so many. Um, we see, do you have any other idea? The great thing with CDs is if you haven't got many, it's a quick win, isn't it? Uh, but they're all my husband, so better to look for another thing, I think. Okay, okay. So what do you think then? Um, I was thinking, um, I don't know, you are the boss. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we? Bathroom. Why don't we start with bathroom, Kimono? Ah, slightly better. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why okay. Not? All the cleaning products. Come on, then. Let's let's get into the bathroom. Let's get that done. Then we'd have a piece of cake afterwards. Yeah. Okay, but the cleaning products is going to be tricky because uh, you know I hire a cleaning service and the lady comes and she brings the product, so I don't have products in my house. Okay. Okay. So what? What? The bathroom what, sounds fine. The bathroom we can go there. Yeah, we'll go to the bathroom and we'll well how about your personal body products oh sounds amazing it sounds great okay okay let's start with them then right come on let's go let's do it okay so um i you have my on, Linda, and just add in like verbs and just nouns and uh, ad adjectives like uh, that's super oh you're going strong we're going to make it to the top in no time I, it is yeah. super I, I got I got confused over what she was. <laughs> okay, okay. Now she's she's attracted to the sword, and but you have to like really watch her because she was like, mm, 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 because uh, Rafaela has done a, some training, and so she knows the the signs. She she good good Rafaela, <laughs> so fun. Okay, okay. So Linda, I have here my makeup. Is it okay if we start with that? I think that's a great idea. Come on, let's, oh, amazing. let's go with the makeup then. Okay, so um, well, should okay. I start with what? Things for the eyes, the lips, what? Yeah. 
If you're happy doing that, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll bring it out into the kitchen because we've got space on the table there. Shall okay, we do so, good. so I take everything out. Sounds good. Bring everything into the kitchen, on the kitchen table, anything to do with makeup. Yeah, and then we'll okay. sunscrise it, eyes, whatever. That sound good? Okay. Okay, so you're doing great. Yeah, well, we're, we're almost there. <laughs> okay, I took everything out. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so let's start. Let's start. Where are we going to start with the eyes? The lit oh, the brush is very nice. It's and a brush. What do you think? Should I keep it or not? Do you use it? Well, you know, I feel kind of that I need to have a brush, but I don't really use it. You don't really use it, but you need a brush, but you don't really use it. Do yeah, and it's, I mean, I just have this one for the cheeks. For the cheeks. <laughs> Sorry. Well, can we put it in the maybe? Well, the, my only thought is if you if you, you if you do use a brush and you do need it, then it would I mean, be it's like just the only one that I have, so I don't think it's. It's a big deal if, it, if I keep one. If you use it and you need it, then keep it by all means. But if the truth is, even though it's the only one you've got, you don't use it, well, maybe it'd be a good idea. So I mean, the maybe. I would, I, <laughs> <laughs> your decision, you make the decision, you, do, you decide if you want to keep it. If you want to put it in the maybe, that's fine by me. Yeah, and we'll come back to it. Okay, let's come back to it. So okay, I have so another brush here. Yeah, I thought you only had one brush. <laughs> well, but this is short. <laughs> and Brian, because they always tell us they don't have a lot of stuff in this match. <laughs> so this is slightly different because, you know, the, the first one that I show you is like this. Yeah. And the lady in Sephora told me that it's compulsory to have one that is more rounded. So I believe her. She's the professional so mm. I have two one is round and one is like diagonal but I don't really know how to use them yeah. so I'm going to keep them okay so Linda what can you try to do so you know she's attracted to hide sounds right hide sounds so and she's attracted to you closing in so if I do something like this Rafaela you know how long it's going to take to do all your stuff in your home if you're going to do it like this okay. Okay, it's gonna okay, be now long. You are the boss, not the safe for a girl. So, so I keep you, doing. You take the object, you hold it to your body. Does it spark joy? Does it not spark joy? It goes away. Did you see? Hold it to your body when I do like this. She's like this. Mm. No, when I move towards my heart, it's like that. So that's a no go. Okay, so we're going back to this. Back to okay. All right. So let's get it done. One brush at a time. Take it up. Okay, so and you just, uh, you take a pen, Linda, and you just just over so there. Another brush for the eyes. Yes, does it spark joy? Do you use it? Super. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I don't even know how to use it. And what do when, we do? You've answered your own question. What do we say when we let go? Bye. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. you it's it's really nice, don't you? Don't you find it? Now, hang on a second, Rafael. You told me that you only had one brush. No, but this is not this. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this is a brush, but it has the pencil on the other side because it's for the eyebrows. So it's totally. Other, but this I will keep because this I use. This okay. I use. I'm sure. Love it. Do you yes, see, Rafaela, there's like a huge difference, like a oh. huge difference between the objects that really spark joy. <laughs> they just, you know, it's, it's, uh, we just have to train it and train it, train it. Because there's like a huge difference, Rafaela, between the first one, the second one. You really felt that joy, felt that strong joy. Yeah. And she's like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> no, of course, we all know what this is. So cool. Very cool. Go on, go on. Okay, so now you're going to make fun of me, but I'm going to make fun of myself first. I have three more brushes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, this, it's again a round one that I, I mean, again, the Sephora girl gave it to me, but I don't know what's for. This is like a thick, thick, I don't know either, 
do, 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 do we they use these brushes? Out? Do we use them, Rafaela? Do you actually use them? You know, I found uh, I found an amazing uh, eyeshadow that is cream, so I don't really need the eye brush. But should I use them? Well, I am not a beautician. Okay, so maybe I'm not the best person to ask for that. But what I might say is that if you haven't used them up to now and you're quite happy with your makeup, maybe you don't really need them and they're just cluttering up your makeup bag. Oh, maybe you're right. In which case, shall we say goodbye to them? Yes, bye. Now, you give her a hand, Linda, okay? You give her a hand. Super. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, uh, let's try it the other way around. Amazing job, amazing job, amazing job, amazing. Good. Uh, do you want to try the other way around? Rafaela, yeah. Linda, do you have like a couple of pens or whatever objects? Yeah, actually, perfect. We're doing, we're doing sentimentals. Oh, you have pens, cool. Super. Okay. And oh, and uh, she, so, but uh, Rafael, let uh, no, let's not make it too difficult. Um, okay. So um, I've got I've got about ten of these um, jars of pens, uh, oh. and most of them belong to the kids. Um, so I don't think I'll ever have to buy another pen again. I can't honestly say that any of them spark joy, but they do do the job. You know, if I need a pen, I always know where there is one. Did you check if they all work? I ha actually, I, I have done that. I have done that. And what I, what I am doing is if I use a pen and it's, it's unpleasant or it's not working properly, I do bin it straight away. So I've been oh, that's fun. amazing. Linda, hold on. Let's get a little more data on, uh, on Linda. Would you stand up, Linda? Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> And uh, just move, oh no, let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, so we open up. Okay, so it's the opposite, right? I close in. So she's attracted to opening it. Yes. Hold on, I'll do the closing in again. And of course, this is easier if you have the person in front of you. Let's do the three problems. Uh, this has been like a really hard week for me. It's, uh, there's been a lot going on. I'm having a little headache. No go. Mm, it's been a wonderful day in Italy. It's warm and everybody's out and um, it's been really nice. How are you feeling today, Linda? Sorry, and I can't see if you are moving backwards or forwards on this. I, um, I found that a bit creepy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'll just, since we're online, just uh, can you do it? Uh, can you do it to yourself uh, like this? Just pat yourself on the. Okay, so that's a no go. And like this, these are the problems. We're gonna talk about them next time. Mm backwards on. okay and on your thighs like this like literally on your legs yeah and hold still and that's forward so so on zoom i felt of course you can't be like but you could you could choose to like stand up and use that but so you know that um when she's she, when you're closing in no, was it the opposite? Sorry, I got lost. Um, I, I like the open. Yeah, you she, like the she, open. She, yes, okay, super yeah. cool. So if, if, you, if you were with her, you would want to, if you want, if there's something difficult, that uh, it might be sentimental, whatever, you keep your hands on your thighs and then you open them up. You know, it's a little difficult, and you, but it's going to be fine. And we're going to make it and we're going to do it together. So don't worry. And you give her a little triangle like that. Okay. Hmm? Uh, uh, Linda, one more like this. You put your hands like this and you just slowly move them down. Backwards or forwards. Would you mind moving over like this so we can see? 
So just release your knees and you just move your hands down really slowly. I'm not really going anywhere. Yeah. Okay, move your hands up. Uh, sorry, like this, Linda, you like do, yes, and then you move them up. And from there, you move them down. Okay, so down, backwards. Mm -hmm. Try to move them up again slowly. Okay, that's okay. But so you know, down is backwards. It's a little difficult to see now. So you will either move forward on up or, or backwards on one of the two. There's down and up open and closed. I've got a bad back, so maybe <laughs> I don't move as normal. <laughs> I've never noticed myself ever do that with my fingers. Yeah, that, and that's why we always think we're the opposite of what we think we are. You know, it's like, oh, I do do this. Oh, I do sit like this sometimes. So that's, that happens when we start to observe ourselves and we observe others. Okay, let's take a couple of pens and then we're going to say goodbye. Okay, Linda, are you ready for your pens? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so um, how are you feeling about them? <laughs> well, <laughs> functional, full stop. You know, okay, that's they good. do the job. They do the job. Did you try them? So do they all work? Yeah, they work. Perfectly. Yeah. I mean, they're not particularly, I mean, how, most of them belong to my husband, actually. I think he'd have a blue fit if I'd been the lot. Um, if I'm really honest, I wouldn't have a problem getting rid of them. I'd quite like to get myself an ink pen. I used to like writing with an ink pen. Okay. Let's so take one at a time. blocking you? One at a time. Okay. Yeah. Let's take one at a time. Just open everything. Open everything, well, and I, do they have the cap or um, what's? How can we try them? How can we see if they work? They can serve you um, if they are really functional or not. You have lots of them. Um, you can keep even all of them. It's absolutely up to you. Um, but I mean, we have to figure out if they work and if they can serve you mm -hmm. properly. Yeah. I hate these. I hate these. <laughs> and, and you know, these okay. like, got all the six colors. Oh, I, I, I hate them. I feel you. I hate them as well. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to get rid of those. Good. And, and this one's got a, a bump on it, which is like, I don't know, it's like a baby pen. I don't get rid of them. Okay. Sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, no, that's all right. It, it does, it's all right. This is okay as well. Um, the, these are Camp America pens for my daughter. Okay. Um, Do they have any particular sentimental? No, no, not at all. Meaning, or it's just the pen that she brought back from the camp? Well, she, she did, um, she did some promotions for Camp America and they gave her all the pens for the stand. So she had like, uh, okay. we, we actually got rid uh, of all of them. But this is just a couple that seem to have floated. Okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know. I don't know. I mean, they don't do anything for me, but they, they're pens, aren't they? They just work as pens. Do, do you feel comfortable when you, when you write with them, when you hold them? And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm not that fussy. You know, that one's okay. broken, so that can go in the bin. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I don't like that one. Okay. Pen? I don't use that. I think my husband might want that one more, actually, but I keep that one for him. Paper mate. I think that's an expensive one, isn't it? I don't really know. But pa paper mate is a good that. mark. It's a good mark, paper mate. Yeah. Paper mate? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a. It's up to you, actually. It's Sorry? your pen or your husband's pen? Well, they're sort of like family pens. You know, what's yours is... Ah, okay. 
Yes, but now we're not thinking about your belongings, your things. No, I know. But I mean, to be honest, I don't think you can. I mean, I'm in charge anyway. So. Uh, I see. I see. I see. I'm the boss. I'm the That's boss. the same for me in my house. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Time to go to oh, Linda, I think you, you did get rid of some pens, right? I did actually. I got rid of yeah. some. You know, if yeah, you have that amazing wish, you know, to get a new pen that you can insert into a really nice container and you just, you know, just work your way around it and uh, it's going to be good. Last trick is, uh, is water because it's very soft. So if you have clients in your office, you. You can't hear it now, probably, but the sound that the water makes, if you're, if there's an eager female, see, I, I cannot not do it. Like it just, uh, it, it moves me right away. Um, and if you have an eagle male in front of you and you tend to like spill it like this, they, they're actually gonna pity you a little bit because they wanna, they wanna help you. So, yeah, right, Rafael, you were like, poor thing. Yeah. She can't, she's like, oh, ah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Did you feel like, okay, yeah. And Linda, how, how are you feeling about that? If I do that, like, you know, get a grip, right? If I see someone like that, I'm like, dude, get your act together. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we're going to say, uh, I, thank you so much for joining, ladies. And super, super, super work. So super excited. Uh, next time, we're going to talk about the problems, these three and see how uh, we can use that. Or uh, the dominating center, which is another really, really, really amazing ingredient. This is just one that it already gives us, you know, there's so many things that are gonna be easier if, um, if we manage. Of course, if you have like um, an online session, we really wanna be able to see at least, you know, the, the table and a little bit more of the person that is in front of us. But let's hope that we're gonna go and just do in-person tidying sessions now that everything is, is opening up everywhere. Mm -hmm. Thank you girls. It was lovely having you. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. You're